Would you look at that? There's a salamander just out for a cruise. Natural as can be. And look at me. Here I am catching him. Catching creation. Hey, who's to say I didn't catch him right now? Wink. <laughs> this is a spotted salamander. It's a very common salamander in the southeast, but you only really see them certain times of the year. During uh, outside of their breeding season, you're really going to only find them under logs and up on the banks and places like where we are right now under rocks. They live in a pretty much a subterranean lifestyle where they're underground almost all the time. Now they come out very specifically in uh, between November and February to breed. They come out at very specific times. The water conditions have to be perfect in the vernal pools, which are temporary wetlands in the forest. And uh, they come out at very specific times to breed. Things have to be almost perfect to get them to come out. How many people do you know like that with church? Everything has to be perfect to get them to come out to the body of Christ. Some people say, well, I can do my own religion thing at home, or I can do the church thing by myself if I just read my Bible. But you're not edifying the body. You're not being built up by other believers, and technically you're in error. Am I saying you're not a believer? Absolutely not. You can be a believer. But just like if we take a hot coal out of a fire and set it by itself, the ember's going to die. The same thing kind of happens when we go on our own. If conditions have to be perfect for you to come out the church, you might be cooling off like a hot ember or just out solo like this guy and easily, you know, preyed on by another animal. Which brings me to another point. The biology of this guy is really cool. The spotted salamander is one of the largest salamanders in this area. And he has these glands on his head to where if something were to bite him, he produces kind of like a noxious taste or a little bit of a toxin. And it's a deterrent. It gives him just enough time to get away. But he is just a really cool guy. He looks like Jabba the Hutt or something crazy from Star Wars. 